Can we discard cards? We can, so... Uh, I want to try to see whether if I just discard everything, whether it would just work. Alright, that was easy. <laughs> Oh, uh, she killed herself. <laughs>
Have mercy, Your Grace. We bear no guilt. We simple folk. Calm your hearts. You've nothing to fear. Speak. Tell me now, or else. Hmm. Hmm. You've nothing to fear. You have something to fear. Lyria. Me. City. Ever been to the castle there? Nay, my lady. I never ventured from his home. Truth be told, Father's de Went was uh, was. It has a dungeon, and in that dungeon I have a special cell I call Sessy. Now Sessy's not much. A round ditch with an iron grate over its opening. But you see, Sessy is so narrow, so tight that once inside her, you cannot move, not turn, not crouch, not lift an arm. Prisoners dropped in the bitch's embrace stand there for weeks in their own excrement until they lose their minds or worms eat them alive. Holy. You have a choice to make. Tell me what I must know. Or live your days out with Sessie. Have mercy, my lady. Nay, we'll tell all, all, everything. I'm straight. The bandits. Whom do they follow? Him, my lady. We've seen him. No name, just an odd title. The Duke of Dogs, they call him. The Dogs. Thank you. My. A blue blood thoroughbred mutt. Where are he and his hounds bound? Did he say? Evil? I'm not evil, I'm, sh I'm firm. I'm strict, you know? They do have something to fear if they're hiding something, and it's me. That recall, Imogen? What do you name? A Gleaton or something? Clayton. Lord Clayton. His estate lies to the south. Sound the horns. Have the men form up. We march at once. Milady! I'll be no eye for the Duke. He's a good man. Gave us proper brass for the welcome we gave him. Shared what grub he had. Shut it, louts. The Queen's had her say. Your Grace, your orders. What are we to do with them? Please give me a choice. Okay, whip some sense into them, press these men into servants, set the women free, leave them be. Yeah, well, I don't want to whip them because they told me what they needed to know. I don't want to press the men into service because they're layabouts and, you know, they're, you know. I don't want weaklings in my army, only the best. Leave them be. I'm going to leave them be. The harvest draws close. Hard work. They'll have their hands full. Oh, my lady, thanks be to you, thanks be. I pray, Mother Melita, lay watch over your kind heart. Pray she watches over yours. Should I hear of you sheltering bandits again, of you lying to my officers, I shall return and put torch to every hot field and orchard. Understood. Meave set off toward Lord Clayton's estate at a gallop, her mouth knocking the peasants Why didn't aside I whip as it kicked up a cloud of dust. The folk of Hawksburn spoke of the royal visit long after, albeit ever behind closed doors and in hushed tones. You, you think I should have uh, lash, ten lashes to each peasant, hang every third one. <laughs> I threatened to burn them to the ground, yes. I mean, I hope they, they took it. I Did they actually hide bandits? I think they... I wasn't sure they did. They were just accused of doing it, right? So I understood it. Oh, there's a golden chest up there. Golden legendary chest. Right. Villagers. Notice boards. Click in them. We'll add markers. All right. We got a puzzle piece. A puzzle gameplay. Point of interest. Another puzzle gameplay. We've got a long way to go. What is this, Reynard? Bandits attacking royal tax collectors. In broad daylight. They shall pay dearly, Your Grace. They shall indeed. And not only they. Rot has crept into Lyria, Reynard. My kingdom has been poorly kept. I lost morale for letting them go. Your Majesty, I beg of you. I beg of you. To raise it, to raise it, mill it, to mill, you, to, to, mill, to, mill, 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 mill
I love him. I like that guy. I wish he had a named character. I like him a lot. Okay, who's this guy and what does he want? Your Grace! Two of your subjects humbly, humbly request aid. Yarplek and Wilma, they call themselves. Seems a wagon axle snapped and they need to hurry to the market. What are your orders? We ride on, we have no time to deal with this. A few gold pieces should suffice and I get good morale. Summon the camp overseers, have them see what can be done. Um, I have no time to deal with this. Oh, but it's still there. Uh, okay. Well, that kind of feels like, uh, as a completionist, I need to do something about that. My morale is low, I know. I I'm trying to roleplay more than just think about what's good for the, the game. I do want to increase my morale, I suppose. It's neutral morale. People feel good. I vanished that. I banished that guy from the, into the shadow realm. <laughs> For some reason, don't know where he went. I think he went on his way. Okay, here we go. What's this then? Doggy hut. My queen, a stray of Sparla, was found inside the dwelling. He was wounded during the seeds on Hawksburn, then abandoned by his comrades. The location of their spoils he is offered to share. That is, should we spare his life. Uh, by the cur of his sort, I will not be bribed. Hang him. Okay. No mercy, I'm afraid. Not having mercy on this one. Rip map. Yeah, we're not doing that. We we hung him instead. I wanted that map, but it, not for his life. Not a chance. Uh, that rumble. What is it? Look out! Rock slide! Now, I do, as a completionist, I do want to get everything. I hope that wasn't a map that I would lose forever. I'm hoping it was just something crappy. It's weird you can't loot it from his corpse, though, or steal it from him, yeah. I don't know. This is a puzzle. Some rocks have come down, crumbling, crumbling down the road. And we need to figure out how to avoid the rocks. We're not fighting them, we're trying to avoid them. Boulders! They're coming down, a rock fall. The bluff crumbles! Fall back! Save yourselves! Your Grace, the wagon, we can use it as cover. Forward, we must move it forward. Play Wagenberg. Quick! What now? You're far fewer than I presumed. Summon your comrades, damn it! Chop, chop! The far I reach from a whip. <laughs> He's Count Coldwell's got a whip. Right, so these boulders are coming at me. We need to kill them quick. Maria! What? Let me play the thing how I want to play it. God's sake. One bullet. <laughs> no! <laughs> We're not letting you play it how you want to play it. By the number of cards on this row, so it should do five damage, right? The wagon! Use the wagon now! Oh, we've come through, Reynard. I thank you. You shoot a boulder with a crossbow and it dies. I killed three boulders, which is, uh, you know, I'm pretty impressed. That's one of the, the best things of the I've done. The temple collapsed. The buttress is doubtless damaged by something. Or someone. There's <laughs> now what we can do here. We ride on. So my real question is, did I lose that map forever? And is it an important thing? Is that going to prevent my completionism? That's what I really want to know. Is that a treasure map? And I'll never be able to get that chest. That's what I want to know. Because otherwise... Yeah, it's gone. That kind of sucks. You know, there was no benefit for hanging him apart from role-playing then. I mean, as far as I'm aware, isn't the, uh, isn't the treasure around here? 
I'm not sure. We're looting all their wagons. A peasant cart peasant. loaded with a heap of hay came rattling down the road from the opposite direction. Clear the road! bellowed Count Caldwell, standing in his stirrups. Make way for your queen! The peasants obediently turned their cart into the roadside nettles. As she passed, Meave glanced towards it and froze. Atop the hay bale lay a badly wounded man gripped by fever. The thick, sweet stench of rot wafted from his bandaged legs. Gods, who did this to him? Meave asked. Bandits? Nay, milady, replied the cartman. T'were a beast. Out to the east, down Wetterton Way, lies a boneyard, old as the elves, they say. The peasant continued. Clerton was set in snares round about there. Came running back to us, drenched in blood, rattling on about a long-haired wench come climbing out a grave. Was taken him to the good sisters of Melitale here on bridge. Perhaps they can help him. I'm certain they can. And will, replied the queen, hmm. though just looking at the wounded wretch, she knew he'd expire before nightfall. A beast. God speed you on your journey. It was a beast, but it was a long-haired wench. The queen whistled, and her mare resumed its trot. Shall I send for a witcher, your grace? Caldwell asked. One of those freaks should make short work of the monster. Until we apprehend the bandits, I shan't allow a single soul to leave our company, even on such an important mission as finding a witcher. Meave replied. Any who did would be captured at once. But, if fate brings us near Wetterton, perhaps we'll see to this monstrous Harridan ourselves. Your Grace, we've only just fought beasts and scarcely escaped with our lives. This she-beast will take a silver sword. Magic formulae. Yet a dozen arbalists will have to suffice, the Queen said, calmly but firmly. And please, Caldwell, do stiffen your spine a bit. Now onwards. <laughs> I agree. I mean, if, if we can't beat a couple of ghouls, then we need a better army. Here ends the main part of the tutorial. From now on, you're on your own! Yes. Thank you. This is where it gets good. All right, now we're in business. Let's, let's, we're on our own. I'm panic-stricken. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's go. Where do I go? <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? Uh, I need to go down here down there but we'll try and go over here first we've got a puzzle we've got some stuff up here that door's probably shut there was a golden chest there and I didn't know how to get to it so we'll go to the left right cow can't get gold or wood from a cow now from my experience you can get wood from everything in this game so I'm pretty surprised that we can't get wood from that cow that chicken? Nope. What's happening over here then? Off to Wetterton, are ye? Bonnet turn that. Just the folk could be on shite. Off to Wetterton, are ye? Off to Wetterton. I am off to Wetterton, are ye? Well, I'm going the opposite way first. Oh, we got a cave. My lady! The locals claim a treasure is hidden within the cave. We can set a small detachment to learn what truth there is to the rumour. I must admit, at first glance it appears rather treacherous. Can't guarantee everyone will return in one piece, if at all. If we're to trust the word of a peasant, we'll venture into every cave in search of a d dragon and its mountain of gold. No, this blathering we shall ignore. But I can guarantee there is treasure in there for two men's lives. You can't just steal a fucking cow. Yeah, you can. I'm the king. Queen. I'm the queen. Do I want to spend, you know, sacrifice two people's lives for some gold? Not really, no. I'll do it, though. Gives me an option. Right. I'm sorry to that guy and his mother, his daughters. That Those two guys had, had families. <laughs> and, you know, old graveyard. Let's go. I'm ready. Look at those people fighting down there. We don't care about those. Right, the she-beast. There she is. She's not... She's going to mind her own business for a while. They are just humans. They are replaceable with gold. Gold. 
Yeah, but they're not replaceable to their families, are they? Like, I know one of them had a daughter. Newly born. About three years old. That's not newly born, but still. Report my queen. One of the damaged, destroyed graves belongs to an elven mage. We might find something of worth, but we would need to dedicate sufficient resources to have the debris cleared. Sure. Wow. We found a part, part of a horn schematic. Pretty good, isn't it? All right, let's go and look what she's doing. The Lyrians entered the graveyard. The haggard lament. Crickets chirped in its tall, windswept grass, and lush green moss covered its crumbling gravestone. What's that Pokemon? Only a fresh bloodstain upon a mausoleum wall suggested that something disturbed the dead in their rest and hunted the living. Save your tears, throw off your grief. An eerie voice sang, its ghastly lament standing Meave's hair on end. Soon your life too shall cease as you pass into the eternal gloom. A pockmarked, pustule ridden creature crawled out from behind some gravestones. It vaguely resembled a shriveled, hunchbacked hag, until its head split into two halves, forming a tooth-spiked maw. What? Everyone! What, like that? Like, like, a, like the thing? Really? Or is it just talking about that? It's opening its mouth quite wide. That's probably, that's probably like that, isn't it? Right? Oh <laughs> wow! All right, let's fight this, this hag. Now, this seems like a monster, but really, it's just. That person's mother that I sent into that cave, she's she's got a bit angry with me, sort of like uh, killing her son, basically. So the mother's come to have me, have me in in a combative way, like that. <laughs> That's right. Right. Let's see. Kill the grave hag. Immune every two turns on turn start. Destroy the lowest unit. Okay, can we discard cards? We can, so... Uh, I want to try to see whether if I just discard everything, whether it would just work. Alright, that was easy. <laughs> Oh, uh, she killed herself. <laughs> I didn't realise it would kill all eight, though. Nice battle. What? <laughs> exactly. What? The <laughs> what? Queen croaked hoarsely as the dying monster writhed in agony at her feet. I know not your grace, replied Reynard. But to be safe, I would have the corpse chopped up and burned. Elsewise, we will not be certain it shall not return. Yes, have it done, Meave said, brushing her hair from her beaded brow. But quickly, lest dust catch us in this foul place. The Lyrians soon resumed their march. As they left the cemetery behind them, some believed they still heard the haunting dirge upon the air. Or was it just the wind whistling past mossy tombstones? All right, we got a new, we got a new Queen Meave. We got a Warhammer. I'll claim that. Have a look at this uh, Queen Meave, then, shall we? Uh, Commander's tent. Yep. Okay. Right. So we've got boost an ally by four and give it one armor. Move a card in your deck to the top and strengthen it by three. Then trigger all alloy loyal allies loyal abilities. Um. Boost by four or strengthen a unit at the top. I don't think I've got any I think I've got anything that pulls a card from the top, so we'll keep with the card we've got. So Okay, good. We can start picking up the wood that belongs to these uh corpses. Okay, that was easy. Like the fact is. That guy struggled to kill this, but all you need to do is not send any units. <laughs> Don't do anything, they kill themselves. 
Drummer pulls a card from the top. I haven't pulled a drummer yet, but thanks. I will uh, I will consider that. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down, racists. As they neared Wetterton, the Queen ordered her company to halt. She then sent men to the town for supplies. Those sent returned more quickly than she'd assumed they would. Their satchels empty, their mounts foaming at the mouth. Your Majesty... The townsfolk have gone right mad. Herded all the elves and dwarves at Market Square. Tis a slaughter. The Queen knew well that if she failed to intervene, the town's streets would flow with non-human blood. They Just as she books. knew her meagre force might not subdue an enraged crowd. Now, I guess I need to decide whether I'm a racist or not. <laughs> intervene, defend the non-humans. Yes. What is your command, Your Grace? Reynard's question pierced the silence. What can it be, dear friend? Answered the Queen, then spurred her mount and rode off towards the town. Her troops followed, running as fast as their legs would carry them. When they passed inside the town gate, they saw corpses lining the gutters. Meave realized she had arrived too late to prevent a tragedy. The crowd was drunk on blood. Its rage would need to be quelled with an iron fist. Uh, don't get me wrong. Bloody non-humans. But well, they don't deserve this. And also, I'm really pissed off at this this uh, town right now. I'm going to teach them a lesson. They say it with an iron fist, but it's going to be more like an iron sword. Unfortunately, this was not Lyria's first pogrom, nor its last. Although the wars between humans and the elder races had ended decades ago, elves and dwarves are still painfully aware how quickly rumour can turn into hatred. It does not take long before pitchforks and flails are taken to the streets and the cobblestones are stained with crimson blood. Literally bloody non-humans. Literally. Okay, eliminate all foes. Yes. Yes, well, here we go then. You're all gonna die. Spawn two light infantry. Damage all units on a row. What do these do? Every turn, on turn start, set the unit's power equal to the number of angry mobs on this row. Okay, so we need to just kill angry mobs, I suppose. Reynard, who started this? I must know. So much hatred. We must put a stop to it. Hmm. Have I got that many units? This seems awfully basic if I'm not making a mistake. Move. Okay, okay. Don't have an awful lot of cards here, do I? Her Majesty is. We will strike the largest clusters. Disperse the mob. Four, five, six. Right. This is relatively the beginning. Yeah, we've been playing it for about an hour. Okay. Destroyed. Happily, Meave restored order without suffering any losses. No. Hopefully, I killed Raynard some of the townsfolk. Then learned that a nobleman's ire had triggered the violence. Ire at having discovered a theft. Suspicion fell on the non-humans he employed. He accused them, they protested, and the row soon engulfed the town. But there's something else, Your Grace. Reynard gestured towards an aged man who stood grieving, his face in his hands. I've witnesses who claim the strays of Sparler are the thieves. Though the tragedy seemed the result of a misunderstanding, justice would have to be served. Those responsible for the slaughter would need to be punished. Yes. The question was, how severely? Severe. Have the instigators hanged. Order your men to whip the guilty parties hanged. Your excuses I cannot accept, said the Queen. The vipers who called for the slaughter, they will hang. The rest... Majesty! A townswoman fell to Meave's feet. Mercy, please. It were words taken wrong, a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? To don another's cape? Pay out insufficient change. These are misunderstandings. What happened here was criminal, and you'll be punished as criminals. Exactly. They've killed loads of non-humans and stuff. You can't just... What? 
Once the condemned were hanged at once, without regard to the protests of kith and kin. Those non-humans who had managed to hide and survive made a most generous donation in gold to bolster the Queen's force. I'd like to say Wetterton's small melting pot of races lived on in harmony. Yet alas, I'm not in the habit of propagating untruths. I don't find, I don't like that gold though. That makes me feel dirty. I didn't want that gold. I just need to punish them. I didn't want the gold though. 